Kanye West opens up in a new interview. YouTube is trolling James Charles. And BTS's fans are worried about Jimin. All that and more on today's Daily Hollywood Rundown. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Daily Hollywood Rundown. If you've been watching Clever since we've come back, you know that the Daily Hollywood Rundown has not been here. We have the Clever Hollywood Rundown, but DHR is back uh, Monday through Friday and a weekly recap. We're gonna have new stuff coming, so make sure you stay tuned. Subscribe to our channel yes. if you haven't already, you guys. It's really important so you keep in the know as well as hitting the bell so you know yes, whenever we click post. click that bell. And also leave a comment below. Let us know how excited you are. Like this video, but we have so much to talk about. So much to talk about. First, we need to talk about Ansel Elgort's Instagram posts that were uh, pretty hot, actually. Okay, you guys, so something major happened last night. Ansel Elgort posted 17 Instagram pics within a matter of 10 minutes with no caption, no explanation, and the whole thing was just a mood, honestly. I was honestly. so confused, I was so confused. The whole world is confused. <laughs> I mean, the internet, we all just have so many questions on this one. At first we thought, okay, maybe these photos are promo pics for his new movie, The Goldfinch, which comes out this September, but blasting his followers with 17 shirtless selfies and no caption and honestly bad lighting doesn't really match with his Goldfinch character. So we're all left wondering, like, why share these now? Like, what do these photos all mean? Ansel hasn't posted to Instagram since April 26 when he blessed us with BTS videos of his trip to Brazil. So while we're not quite sure the meaning behind these pictures, we're definitely not complaining. And you know what? People love them too. Even Real Housewives star Lisa Rinna loved them, but Diplo on the other hand did not. And you guys, the good people of Twitter all came to the same consensus. Like this user who tweeted, I want to be as confident as Ansel Elgort posting 17 selfies in different angles. While some users were questioning, was he hacked? I don't know, Susan, because I saw this and I was mm -hmm. like, why is he trending last night? And then I went to his page and I saw all these selfies. And first of all, it's not just confidence. It has to be amazing to know that you can post multiple, I cannot talk today. Multiple photos, literally in different angles and still get, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of likes on every single photo. I know, and look, we're, we're all guilty of taking like a zillion photos no, to capture me. Like, oh, come on, Emil, I've seen your Instagram. We're all guilty of taking like a zillion photos yeah. to get that one perfect shot. But it's pretty cool that only like celebrities can then actually post all those shots. I mean, right. you don't normally see that though. And I feel like this was just like a whole mood. Every single image actually was a whole mood. You've got ones that he's like almost smizing. Right. Ones where you can see the clothes in the background that he obviously took off before jumping in for the photo. And I mean, I'm just dying to know Ansel, what were you thinking? He like, literally could have put hashtag no filter on everyone and that would have made my day. Okay guys, so moving on to YouTuber James Charles. Obviously, we know everything that's been going on over the past couple of weeks and we've been trying to move on. I was trying to move on. I literally said on the last CHR, like I'm over it. However, I was scrolling down YouTube last night. Oh. Not even like, not even like really scrolling, just like a, a tiny scroll. And in my YouTube recommended, I saw this video and I, I for the life of me, I still don't know why I clicked it, but it said before he cheats cover. And I was like, what is this? And I clicked it and I was like, oh, this kid looks a lot like James Charles. Turns out it was James Charles under another account called Jay's Coding. And he don't know that I dug my key into the side of his bring a little soup to four wheel chop. So this YouTube account is Jay's Coding and it appeared in people's recommended on YouTube seven years after it was originally posted. On the about page, you see it says, hi, I'm a Mario Kart player. Just so you know, I'm 11. And then we did the math and this all adds up because James just turned 20 and this was in 2010 when this page was started. One comment said, YouTube is really out here exposing everyone with their recommendations. Another one said, YouTube is funny AF for putting this in everyone's recommendations. So Susan, I'm not kidding. I was, I was in a deep dive. And when I say deep dive, like there's only 10 videos on this channel, but I was in a deep dive trying to figure out like if other people knew about this. And yeah. there were a few people who had talked about it on Twitter and like whatever, but most of the comments were saying, what the f is this? <laughs> um, I watched those videos as well, and OMG, it's it's like it's. I didn't even know how to explain it. It's, it's uh, wild. It's, it's wild. It's different. Yeah. James looks very different, obviously, because he doesn't have his makeup on. This right. was pre-makeup mogul. 
but you can still see the features in his face, so you can see he's Tim. Still you can see singing. He's singing, and his personality is coming through. Yeah. But obviously, he's not as confident as the James we know now. But I mean, for me, it was the comments under the videos that really had me in stitches. No, um, it was hilarious. And also the fact that everybody was pointing out, like, YouTube, are you being shady? Like, recommending well, these videos? Well, let's talk about that for yeah, a little bit. Do we that. think that it's shady? Because I think I think it's a little shady because there are videos that start to trend or, or not trend, but like people start to view. But that doesn't necessarily mean that YouTube's gonna recommend it to you. The fact that it's literally popping up and so many people's recommended is kind of like, eh, what's going on? Do they want us to see a different version of James? Or first yeah. of all, and here's the thing: it might not be shady. It kind of feels like trolling to me because it's just like <laughs> these videos are a little cringy. Yeah, a lot of cringy. But at the same time, it's. If that's who James was, that's who he was. We all have a past, right. you know? We all have a cringy Don't look past. at my old videos, they are embarrassing. Like, I would not want that coming yeah, out. Yeah, because the fact is that YouTube is recommending this video, and from the comments, it appears that a lot of people are seeing that YouTube is recommending yeah. this video. So that's the question. Like, YouTube, where you're at? Like, we're watching you, what's going on? Just before we move on, though, just play one more clip. Okay. Happy Halloween to all my fellow Americans, and happy Day of the Dead or whatever to all my Mexican homies out there. But while I was doing my deep Dive, I also noticed that uh, Jay's Coding also has a Twitter page. And in one video, he references like he's doing this song request because of Emily, who he thinks is really pretty. So where is Emily now? Like, I really want to get like an interview with Emily to say, yes. you knew James back then. Like, what do you think about this whole situation now? That'd be crazy. I right? mean, I wonder if Emily even knows about the, the song and the video. I mean, she has to. She requested it. OK, you guys. So the boys of BTS know how much fans love V's pup that goes by the nickname Tanny. And when some new pictures were posted to BTS's Twitter, I mean, everybody lost their mind. Everybody went wild. And if you've seen pictures of Tanny, he is the cutest little so dog cute. ever. So I don't blame them. And also, it went trending. Yeah. Again, everything that everything. BTS does everything trends, trends, you guys. So the fans on Twitter were going wild over these new pics with one user writing, I love you. And as we just mentioned, the BTS army even got Tanny trending worldwide. This user wrote, Tanny, you're trending number two worldwide because so many people are talking about you. It's what you deserve. As well as worldwide, famous dog is now trending. This cute dog is powerful. We should add, this isn't the first time that BTS's loyal following made Tanny a viral sensation and he is so cute so we can see why. But for the most part, a lot of fans couldn't get over how much Tanny has grown. One fan raved, Tanny grew up so well. While another said, this pup has grown up so fast, Tanny is trending as he should be. Oh. I really want a clever puppy. The, oh, yes. The issue is, like, who's going to take it home? Because I like playing with puppies. I like dealing with them. But then somebody has to train them. Somebody, somebody has, has to, to clean like, the poop. Right. Walk <laughs> them, feed them. This pup, though, is the cutest. Yeah. So I love Pomeranians. Yeah. They are the cutest little dogs. And I can't get enough. I want to see more. Like, I want to see wanna more see videos, more, more pictures. And all the fans clearly want to see more as well. I just love certain dogs, like, stay like that puppy size mm. and look their whole time. But moving on to other BTS news, some fans are very worried about one of the members. So BTS has been on their world tour, Love Yourself, Speak Yourself, and they just wrapped up the US portion. But there's a video from their performance during the first night in Brazil that has fans worried. This fan tweeted, oh my god, this absolutely broke my heart. B Army said that Chimin was sick and was coughing a lot during the sound check. I'm sure he was crying because he couldn't give his 100%, but someone please let him know that we understand and it's completely okay. So Susan, like, obviously whenever you see one of your favorite performers, even if they're in part of a group, um, yeah crying on stage, you're gonna show concern, and people were tweeting, showing concern for him, telling him really like to relax, and when you're part of a group, it kind of takes the pressure off, because it's like, oh, there's other members in the group, they can kind of take the lead, and I can sit this one out, but he was still performing, pushing through. Yeah, um, I, I mean, I found it really emotional to watch. Yeah. Like, I think you can't not watch it and, and feel emotional, because he's up there on stage in front of the entire world, and and it kind of didn't, didn't wasn't like this quick little moment and it right, just Right, it lasted for there. a yeah. while, but the good thing is he did speak to fans the next night at the end of the show and here's what he had to say. <laughs> So a fan account translated his message for all of us and he said, did you have fun? Now there's something I want to make sure to tell all of you. Actually, this rarely happens, but my body was a little unwell until yesterday. But even so, I was fine because I thought I would do what I could do. 
But the reason I cried yesterday was because you all sang together with us, right? I was deeply moved by that and it became a gift for me, guys. Thank you so much. I'll never forget that you moved my heart and everything I received from you even after today and I've gotten better now. Thank you so much and I love you all a lot. Thank you. This really warmed my heart because you don't have to say anything. Like in the fact that they are so involved and engaged and you can clearly tell they love their fans so much. Yes. So the fact that he like spoke out, granted, uh, we have to have a translation of it, but it's still beautiful to know what he actually said and we can really connect with that. It is, and you don't really see many artists communicating that way with yeah. their fan base. Yeah. So I respect the voice so much for that and it really does help, you know, that connection that you feel so connected because you, you understand exactly what's going on. Right. And um, yeah, it was a really beautiful moment then when you know why he was crying. So you guys, Kanye West is in the media again, which is no surprise. Um, he is being interviewed, or he has been interviewed by David Letterman for his series, My Next Guest Needs No Introduction. And we've just recently seen the trailer that's been released. And I mean, we need to talk about some of the things that are in this trailer. When you're bipolar, you have a potential to ramp up and it could take you to a point where you start acting erratic, mm -hmm. as TMZ would put it. Uh, in case you don't remember, Kanye was diagnosed with bipolar disorder two years ago after being placed on an involuntary psychiatric hold in November 2016. Since then, he's talked about the stigma associated with mental illness. According to the Daily Mail, in his new interview, Kanye compared his bipolar disorder to, quote, a sprained brain and explained that it has a strong stigma attached to it. He said, quote, people are allowed to say anything about it and discriminate in any way. If someone has a sprained ankle, you're not going to push on him more. With us, once our brain gets to a point of spraining, people do everything to make it worse. Kanye then recalled his stay in a psychiatric hospital and said his treatment was awful. He said, quote, they have this moment where they put you, they handcuff you, they drug you, they put you on the bed and they separate you from everyone you know. When you're in that state, you have to have someone you trust. It is cruel and primitive to do that. They love to write you off. They love to cut your sentences off halfway. What you say doesn't mean as much. So Kanye is somebody who people have a lot of feelings. They either love, hate. I mean, actually, some people like him, but yeah. um, some people don't. Um, right. There's feelings. there's there's definitely strong opinions, I'll say, on both sides regarding Kanye. Yeah. Um, so I'm very interested to see the full episode of this. And, you know, he obviously has Kim's support. Kim has been very open about this and has talked about like how much she loves and supports him. And she's even talked about uh, to the point, I think it was with Vogue saying how she doesn't really or he not going to take the medication because it changes who he is. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm just very intrigued. Yeah. I mean, and what I love about this is that he's bringing a voice to like a really important like illness. And and issues that probably doesn't get talked about enough um, and the fact that he has bipolar and he is someone who's very famous and he is using his platform to talk about it so that people you know so more people get educated um, in, in some ways and I think that's really important because yeah. people need to feel represented and I think you know it's a great way for Kanye to I guess use his limelight for, for causes that are bigger than him. All right, guys, that's a wrap on DHR. Um, this is our first one back under like the new Clever. Yeah, so it's really exciting. during the week as well. Yeah, so, so I want to so know excited. what you guys think. Let me know what you think about this whole Jay's Coding YouTube channel. Yes. Um, are you intrigued like I am? Let us know in the comment section below. Yeah, and I want to know what you thought of Ansel Elgort's selfies. I mean, so many questions. What were the questions you had? What were you thinking when you saw them? Do you have a favorite pick? I know I do. I have several to be honest. Let us know, subscribe, comment, <laughs> like, like, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye guys. All right, so that's a wrap. But before you go, click right over here for another new video over here on Clever News. Also, are you part of the Clever fam? Like, I feel like some guys are watching this video who aren't Emil. Yeah, And I, agree. I think you can only do that by subscribing. So hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification so you know whenever we post you guys.